guys. So today we're going to be doing a tutorial on this really gorgeous mermaid beachy hair that I've got sporting right now. It's been a while since I've done a video, so I'm super excited to share with you guys this perfect for summer. So if you guys want to see how I do it, keep on watching. All right, so to start the tutorial, you're gonna wanna make sure that your hair is completely air dried. Last night what I did is I washed my hair yesterday and then I just put it in a big loose braid to give me a little bit of texture to my hair so it isn't stick straight. So if you have stick straight hair, that is a tip to get you a little bit more natural wave in it to get this like mermaid fill. If you already have wavy hair, you're already set and ready to go. I'm gonna grab my hairspray and I'm just going to press my hair with hairspray. The reason why I like to do this is because my hair lasts a lot longer when I have prepped hair rather than just putting it on my natural hair. And it smells so good. Split your hair down the middle and then we're gonna work on one side at a time. So I'm just gonna pull down some hair from the bottom section and then clip the rest out of my way so it doesn't get in my way. And the tool that I'm gonna be using today, you guys, check this baby out. It's like a giant crimper. Look at that. This is by Hot Tools. It is one of their larger crimpers, and I love this because this is what's gonna get us the really awesome wave. So let me show you guys literally how easy it is. I'm just gonna take out a nice size section. This is probably about like a one inch by two inch section. Typically for every section that I do, I like to have the flatter part on top. So all I'm going to do is start at the top, and my hair is going to go in it, and it's going to go in kind of a squiggly motion. So then what you're gonna do is really easily pull this out, move it down to the next section, and you're just gonna continue your way down. So it's a little different. I'm looking in the viewfinder to make sure that I am actually doing this correctly. It's a little different than a curling iron because you're actually going down your hair strand rather than a curling iron that just kind of curls it up. And do you guys see how gorgeous that little section looks? And on the ends, if you want your ends to be a little bit straighter, you can stop here or you can just really slightly go and do those ends for a second so it gives you that really gorgeous feel. Look at how cute that already is. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to follow this all the way up until I get to my last section. I'm going to stop at that last section and show you guys something different. Okay, so I have waved my hair on both sides now. I just left very top half like I said so on both sides I've left that very top half and that is giving me this mohawk section that I still need to finish trying to get all of my hair oh my gosh so much of it so now we're gonna do instead of going like horizontally on going down we're actually gonna go in this way and go back away from our face it's gonna create a really nice top part of your hair so I'm gonna start from the back and I'm just going to section out this piece right here, all right? Then what I'm gonna make sure is that that top part is actually on top like last time. We're going to take our section, pull it out, put our clamp in, make sure that you've got all of your hair and that you aren't burning yourself. And then what I'm going to do is instead of going like this, I'm actually gonna rotate it down so that I don't create a line on that top part because if you have the iron going down, um, going like directly parallel with it, you'll kind of get a little bit of a line. So now that I've got that first one established, I'm just gonna continue to work my way down and I'm gonna do this until I get to the very front because we're gonna do something a little bit different with the very front part as well. All right, so we finished that whole top part. Now we're gonna bring this all together and I'm gonna grab my T3 one inch curling iron. Um, this is the clip barrel or you can use your wand, whatever you choose to do. Um, what I'm going to do now is now that I've got this really great cute curl pattern, I wanted to make sure to leave out my bangs because I want this to sit a little bit different to make it look really natural. So I'm going to take out smaller pieces and I'm actually going to just curl these with my one inch curling iron super fast. You can see that that was like really, really quick. I'm gonna do this side going both directions, some away from my face and some coming towards my face, but not super tight or perfect or anything like that. I'm just going to put in a nice little bend to my hair. And then I'm gonna do the same thing to this little side right here. 
Now what I'm also going to do is just right on top, I'm gonna grab a few pieces and just wrap it around my iron. I like to do this because it kind of breaks up the curl pattern and makes your hair look really natural. So I'm just gonna grab a few on top. Okay, so now we're gonna finish it up with just our finishing products. So I'm gonna grab a little bit of a texture mist. Um, I like to use this to give my hair a little bit more grit, especially if you tend to have a finer texture or hair that doesn't like to get messy. I'm gonna rub this around in my hands and then just kind of work it into my hair. And this is gonna give me that lived in texture because my hair doesn't really get frizzy. I have to kind of make it have like texture or frizz, which I'm not going for like crazy frizz, obviously, but I like to get it a little bit more oomph because I want like lioness mane hair. And then I'm just gonna finish it up with a little bit of taffy. I like to put this on the ends to really piece out and give my ends more definition. So all I'm going to do is put it on my hands and I'm going to scrunch this into my ends to give me more of that PC textured look to finish everything up. Then go ahead and just take your hair, give it a light shake helps to break everything up and get all of your little curls and your little bendies all nice and pieced out. We're going into day two, day three, day four hair. The way that I refresh this is I just take a little bit of dry shampoo, put my dry shampoo in, and then mist it over with this little detangler, and I can literally wear this for five days. Thank you so much for watching my video. If you guys wanna check out other videos, I've got a whole bunch on here, I think around 300. So go browse, have fun, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.